When people see Gary on the ski hill, I'd say they're pretty happy, uh, especially now he's a little bit more well known. Even people who don't know who he is, you get lots of smiles just having a cat on the hill. I actually didn't have any pets really growing up. When I met my current partner, who's Gary's mom, she already had him and, and our other cat, Carl. And uh, yeah, so I kind of have, have evolved into the crazy cat man I am today. Gary hasn't always been this adventurous. He was always very curious though about being outside. So we decided if he wanted to go out, he'd have to walk on a leash. And now he walks and he hikes and he skis. I've created a bit of a monster. If I don't take him out enough, he gets a little bit upset with me. I started posting photos to his Instagram, uh, mostly because there's only so many photos of a cat you can send to your friends before they ask you to stop. So, so it was just a way for me to kind of have some fun on social media and document uh, the progress that we, we made. And people really like cats in the mountains, it turns out. And so he's, he's blown up far beyond anything I'd ever expected. Gary's a fairly cooperative model, I would say. He doesn't always look at the camera and sometimes he's got his own mind about what he, he wants to do. So I, I do take a lot of photos and uh, you gotta weed out the ones that didn't work to find the, the ones that are worth posting. I think Gary and I's relationship has grown as we've, we've done more adventuring, I think there's, we both have to trust each other a lot to do some of the things that we do, particularly I would say skiing. It's like you've gotta be really in tune with your, your cat and understand what they need and what they want to be able to do this sort of thing. So it's been great, I think, just kind of building that relationship over the years that we've been going out. Adventuring with a cat requires a lot of patience. It took us, I would say, probably a year to work up to a point where Gary knew how to follow a trail. There's a lot of time involved. You've got to move on the cat schedule, not on yours. There's, uh, I think, a growing community of people who have cats and bring them out with them on, on uh, their trips. We actually did one hike and we ran into three other people who had cats. But if you've got a cat and you're hoping to go outside with them, I don't recommend just stuffing Fluffy in a bag and hitting the slopes. I don't think it'll go well. These adventures are something that we've worked up to over a number of years. Do you mind if I take a picture? Thanks, get that Have a great day. <laughs> Gary's in the house. Wow, oh, Gary. I don't know if Gary knows how famous he is. Uh, I will say he's always thought pretty highly of himself. So uh, I'm not sure it's gone to his head any more than it already was. So uh, I've created a bit of a monster in Gary, learning, like having him learn how to hike. Ooh. Yeah. Gets quite upset if I don't take him out enough. Uh, these days I work a lot from home and so often he, uh... yeah, 